Hi guys, what's up? I want to show you an exciting update on Bitcoin that I discovered while scoping through the charts this morning. Um, right here is a Bitcoin's all-time chart that you can see right here that has been an upward trajectory, as you can see here. And we saw the blow off tops around um, uh, here at the top of this uh, channel in 2017, how it has come back, how it's used the half of it for as resistance and used uh, just slightly above the half of it in this um, bull, current bull run as resistance again, and we are back here. And that is why a lot of people, uh, uh, analysts, have argued that this is not the end of the bull run. So most likely, if we are going to get to the same um, trajectory, that is why you see a lot of people projectory, uh, projecting a 100k, 200k Bitcoin. So I'm going to show you some things that I discovered right here. So zooming out on this, um, you can see that we are supposed to have Bitcoin top up just around the top of this channel as well, just like we've seen in 2017 and the previous years where we have, where we had blow off tops. Now using the uh, eight week um, weekly uh, moving average. I discovered some very exciting things right here that I want to show you. Last August, uh, you can see what happened right here. We had the same scenario that we are seeing right now. This huge red candle after Bitcoin was moving on this uh, eight week moving average uses a support. We had this huge red candle breaking below where I have my rectangle and all through September. Of course, we know September is always historically a bearish year. But you can see this four weekly candles right here all through September sitting below the eight week average uh, moving average. And on October, we had this spike above it. OK, we had a spike. You can see this October candle. Uh, right here moving right above the eight-week moving average and we had this uh, um, uh, sporadic Bitcoin run So I was thinking maybe we could have the same scenario right here again And this is August. I think this is September actually the first week of September, September this one happened now We have similar things happening again. You have this four weeks of September sitting below this yellow line again, which is um, the eight-week moving average and this is October. We saw how this week has closed. We've, we've seen quite um, a descent close right here. And last week of September, we saw this uh, spike. The close was at 48.233 uh, yesterday, which is above the eight moving uh, eight week moving average, which is around 47. Uh, 700 or thereabout, just call it 47700. So that's well above the four, seven, um, the eight week moving average period. So that's quite bullish for what's to come in the next few weeks that I'm looking at right here now. So if we look at this, after the after Bitcoin broke up from this eight week moving average, we saw a huge run of about 480% all the way to 64K, where we had the massive drop. This huge move, 480% right here. All the way. So I tried here something. I did something. I pulled up. There's a bar pattern right here to pull it all the way from here um, to see exactly what this is going to look like. Let's ju let's just pull that out again. Uh, just gonna pull out that bar pattern to show you exactly what I'm saying. So this is this is a, trying to measure all the way to the 64k drop right here. Okay, that's that's just about it. So now carrying this bar pattern and moving it just around here. Uh, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we are likely going to have something like this. If I zoom this in a bit, we're going to see. Just want to place it at the exact place where I think it should be. Just uh, okay. It's just just right. It's just right here. Now, if we measure the same pattern, if we are to replicate the same four hundred and eighty percent that we saw over the last uh, move from last August all to sixty four k, we're gonna have Bitcoin price around two hundred and thirty k. Now, putting this bars pattern on this, you could see the same thing. You can see the same thing. This is just like, it's just like math and you see how it works right here. And that trajectory, um, putting Bitcoin just around here. So it's quite similar, putting it just around the 225K or two, just above, slightly above 220K uh, region thereabout. So now if we try to measure the distance, you see that this is just around um, February uh, 2022. 
So most likely we're going to have that extended run like we did in 2017. This is no guarantee that this is going to happen, of course. But then we have to use all, all kind of metrics to do the projections and analysis and see what's possible with Bitcoin. So you see how this really coincides perfectly with the top of this channel. I mean, <laughs> you can say it's not really a beauty to see this hanging just around the 200k region. So it's not really surprising if we have that move. Now, we have to keep an eye on where Bitcoin goes. If we're going to sit above this eight-week moving average for the next few weeks, then we're going to be expecting that sporadic run uh, through the last quarter of this year. Hopefully, hopefully, guys. So just keep an eye. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell on this uh, um, channel so you can get notified when we push relevant updates. Hit like on this video, guys. Hit like on this video. That's where you let me know that, hey, I'm enjoying the updates that you are giving us right here, guys. Cheers and see you in the next update. Bye.